Dale Winter, one stock you like in the Wells Fargo Advantage International Equity Fund is Axo Nobel. This is a Dutch paint and coatings maker. The currency, the euro, is helping it. That said, they're having problems with their China sales. So which force is ultimately going to win out? Well, we describe it as a self-help cyclical in Europe because the majority of its sales are actually domestic in Europe. So it's benefiting from the beginning of a recovery economically, and that's more than offsetting any slowness, which is temporary in China. And another big driver is lower commodity costs because titanium dioxide are a big input into its raw materials, and that's a derivative of oil, which obviously is lower 50% uh, over the last year. So there are other factors which are bigger drivers, self-help costs, and also leverage to the European cycle and lower commodity costs. And you're also bullish on Mitsubishi UFJ. This is a Japanese financial company. It's having a great year, up over 15%. I guess Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's arrows are hitting their marks, at least with this company. Yes, we're believers in Abenomics. We think it is working. QE was the beginning of that, followed by structural reforms. And we're looking at domestic reflation plays. And MUFG is one of those, is one of the largest banks in Japan. It's still undervalued at uh, a discount to book, about 0.8 times book value. But it's going to benefit from increasing trading activity and the rise in the domestic market uh, as we see it over the next few years. You're also constructive on a French company, saint Gobain. They make uh, building materials. They sell them here in the U.S. Glass uh, wear as well for buildings. So tell me about this company. Why are you so bullish on it? Uh, another self-help cyclical in Europe, actually. Over 70% of sales are European. Uh, one third in total of France. And that's obviously had a tough time economically. Um, in the meantime, management's been very aggressive on cutting costs. That's the self-help thesis to improve operating leverage and margins. But we're now seeing stabilization in housing transactions in France and across Europe. And this company will be a big beneficiary of the return of the housing market and the economic recovery in Europe over the next one to three years. Now, I mentioned before that China is slowing. Everybody knows it. But one stock you like is China Everbright. This is a Chinese financial. So how will the slowing Chinese economy affect China Everbright? Well, this is actually more of a thesis uh, in, with the structural reforms that are happening in China and the opening up of the financial markets. So China Everbright is a financial conglomerate active in asset management, uh, private equity, brokerage, and banking. And it's benefiting from the deregulation of those markets. It's still trading cheaper discount, uh, again, about 0.8 times price to book. Um, and so the bigger drivers of that stock price are the continued structural reforms, continued deregulation of the financial markets, rather than the temporary slowdown in the manufacturing side of the Chinese economy. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Dale. Great. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Street.